Unfortunately, the choice became to either bring Brittany home or no one. As the president said this morning, he will, he will never stop working to secure Paul's release and return home, and he will not give up. On a personal note, Brittany is more than an athlete, more than an Olympian. She is an important role model and inspiration to millions of Americans, particularly the LGBTQI plus Americans and women of color. Um, I just wanted to ask, have there been any similar efforts uh, regarding American Mark Fogel, who was also uh, in Russia, also arrested uh, on marijuana charges? How is his case uh, different, uh, or how does the why is the actions for Mark Fogel different than these? So look, we take uh, seriously our responsibility to assist U.S. citizens. Uh, any specifics on Mark Fogel or any others, I would I would refer you to the State Department uh, uh, for additional information on those specific cases. Uh, there are every case is different. But you do see a difference between Griner's case and Fogel's case. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that sometimes we're not able to talk about that particular individual. As you know, there's some criticism of, of, of the release of, of Victor Boot, and I know you, you said the president doesn't take it lightly. He waited very carefully. But uh, th th we are talking about a man who, when he was sentenced to 25 years, Preet Bharaha, who at the time was the top federal prosecutor in New York, said, that this was someone who had conspired to sell AK-47s that he knew would have been used to kill Americans, American drug agents. Law enforcement uh, officials may not be happy with his release. What's the president's message to them and to others who say essentially that this was a, a bad deal, that, that this is a terrible man who has not fully paid his debt? <laughs> So look, negotiations for release of wrongful uh, detainees are often very difficult. That's just a reality. In part because of the price that must be paid to bring Americans home uh, to their loved ones, and in part because of immediate results can feel unfair or arbitrary, right, to, to your point. Question on just the precedent that this might possibly set. I guess what would the president's message be to any foreign actor, a rogue country that has watched all of this unfold and might be thinking, okay, so this was possible uh, in this situation, so this is something that we might be able to pull off too? Look, you know, uh, Russia and sadly Russia and other countries uh, have already been willing uh, to wrongfully detain U.S. citizens. This is something that has been occurring for some time, as you know. But is there a concern of this kind of precedent being set? Look, what I can say again, this is, uh, this is something that we have seen not just Russia and other countries continue to do. Uh, this is something that they've been willing to do. And where we were uh, left with is either we bring Brittany home or no one at all. Uh, and so, the, you know, uh, I had a, uh, one of my colleagues in the National Security Council said today, he believed that there was a moral obligation here uh, to get her home. Uh, this does not mean that the president will stop uh, by, with Brittany. He's going to continue to make sure that uh, we secure uh, Paul Whelan's return 